Thank you for tuning in to another edition of our toy review. This time I'm featuring the young Optimus Prime. It's Orion Pax. And yeah, what we have here is the actual vehicle mode. It's a Cybertronian truck. But of course, I wanted to start first with the packaging itself and the accessories or the freebies that we have here. First of all, this is what we have. Ta da! I have to adjust the camera in order for you to see it. Yeah, we have here the Transformers. And yeah, the comic book included. And the 30 years. Yeah, thrilling 30 years uh, sign on it. So Ryan Pax. And there we go. How about about the uh, comics here? This is the comics. I hope you can see it here. And yeah, yeah, it's very neat. And it was published by IDW with Hasbro's logo logo in it. And yeah, this is a very nice uh, paper that they have used. And. Uh, I don't really want to share the story of this though, but yeah, you can see here that Orion packs very closely, uh, does look like Optimus Prime in the first place. Well, after all, he's the young Optimus Prime, right? So much for that, let me show to you the instruction manual. Now, this is the instructional manual here. You can see that, yeah, we can see here the full body of Orion Pax, which is also in the packaging. Uh, actually, the first half of it, or the half body of Ryan Pax is in the packaging bit. Yeah, we can see here that the uh, diagrams they look so 3D compared to the first release of Transformers toys, wherein the yeah the diagrams are shown in a very black and white. But now we can see that it's in 3D. It looks neat. Though I have just just have a little complaint about it, in which I'm going to show later on. So there you have it. We have now the actual Orion Pax toy. But as we can see here, this is way smaller than the usual Transformer scales that we have. Now on his truck mode, we can see here the Autobot logo here. Okay. Well, I hope you can see that and some accessory weapons that we have here this is actually a battle axe but in his vehicle mode it looks like a gun as well as the iron blaster now to convert this into robot mode it's quite easy but smart well I have to commend Hasbro for doing a great job here in this magnificent toy though of course there are some flaws or you know some Rooms for improvement, at my opinion only, okay? I don't mean to offend Hasbro, but yeah, they're good in what they're doing, though. It's just that, you know, there are some ideas that fans like me may have to need to uh, open up or, you know, say something about it. But, oops, now here's one of my complaints here. The wheels are easily being removed like this one just snap out okay you have to be careful with that now you have to move there okay that looks neat looks neat okay now you have to enter this as well here and there now rotate the feet okay I hope you can see it clearly. I'm doing this very slowly though. Very slow manner. And this is the part in the manual where in I just got confused. I didn't get get it at first, but you have to rotate this part. Okay? You have to rotate this. Now you have to be careful with this, okay? Make sure that these wheels are placed here. And there there we go oh well, i hope you got it okay no okay no the hands here 
Okay. Oops. That goes last actually. But you have to I have to snap it here. Body. And they're supposed to yeah. I presume you already heard the snap. Now you have to make some last adjustments here. Okay. And there. Okay. And there we go now. The last part of it is the head. Okay. I have to pull this over. And there we go, the head. Now, one of the things that my brother noticed, did notice, is that he has a very small head and even smaller than his hands. Look, look at the size comparison of his hands compared to his head. But he has a big grip, should I say? Because he has two big weapons to fit in. First one here is, of course, the Iron Blaster. Okay, that's very neat. And the weapon. No, I mean the, the axe, the battle axe. Well, this is a very smart, you know, smart product of uh, Hasbro. It has many articulations. It has ball joints here in the legs and the good positioning of the feet. Okay, I mean, you can post the feet like that over here there okay looks good there we go now if you're going to check on how does it look like at the back okay it's good actually it is truly we can consider a masterpiece a small masterpiece on the part of Hasbro right so yeah there we have it Ryan packs highly recommended very good very good so that's it for our toy review for tonight or today whatever time it is in your place while you're watching this don't forget to leave a comment have a nice day